Pop quiz, everybody. In the last video, we did wristbands. What did I say we were going to do in this one? For those that didn't see that video or didn't remember, we are going to do a suede bag kit today. Uh, this one comes in at $8.49 at a local Hobby Lobby. Contains everything that you need and gives you some ideas for some optional uh, decorations that you can use. You can make a con put a concho on it, which is like a metal type of ornament. Uh, beads, what else? You can paint it, uh, you can mark it up, or you can brand it. Uh, brand it so you could theoretically uh, wood burn it, or sorry, leather burn it. I'm going to mix those up probably for the rest of my life. So anyways, let's get on to it. All right, so we got our sleeves rolled up and we're ready to dig into this kit. All right, so let's see what we all got in here today, folks. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. All right, we got some assembly instructions. Got our different kinds of rope and our needles in there. See what we got here. We got a little set of thread and needle. We got some strips. We got a flange. And then we got two pieces of bag material. Alright, so we're sewing the pouch inside out and then we're turning it around. Wrong sides out. I'm, this is the wrong side for sure. Okay, so wrong side out. Wrong side. Wait. Wrong side out. And wrong side out. Okay, we're good. All right, and then we gotta put this in the middle, like this. So you're going to have those stitching holes lined up. So you're going to have to kind of line these holes up so that you got equal on both sides. So you got like that. Pull with this like that. There you go. All right, now we're going to put this one on the top. bad side on the outward. Um, that's the bad side. So it should be like this. Bad side on top. Alright, we're good. So we gotta grab our thread out next. There's our needle that they give us for this. Gonna unravel this thread. Hopefully you don't knot it. The guy just did. Get it to come out. There we go. All right. So I said leave out about six inches of thread. So then you can uh, take your thread and you can poke it. It's kind of difficult, but you can poke your needle through it and then you can tie it off on the end so it doesn't come apart. I don't know if it's going to work with this needle or not. We'll try it. Oh yeah, we got it. There we go. So you pull it through like that and it kind of like locks it in place. So it don't go anywhere. All right. So now where do we got to start? Looks like at the top. So you gotta go through each hole. Start like this. This first one we're gonna have to double stitch so it holds in place. And then we're gonna do what they call a running stitch. 
leave a little bit at the end there. And we're going to kind of just go back through this one a second time. Stitching is actually like really, really, whoa, what? <laughs> All right, let's try that again. I guess I went through backwards. All right. <laughs> so we're learning here. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're going to start there. Leave about six inches out. We're going to go back through again. And we're going to hold this with our thumb this time. All right, so we got, I don't know if I want to do that. Let's pull it back. No, I'm going to just do the running stitch. I don't want it to come out that way. That looks weird. All right, so let's get this out. So there we go. We just got that one there. Okay, so running stitch is going under. Like so. Keep your thumb on the extra you got out while you do these first couple, otherwise it's going to back out. You want to pull nice and tight each time you're going through. And this is like the most basic of leather stitching that you can do. Uh, just this plain running stitch. So we're just pulling on it a little bit each time. Now you can see like here I don't think it's going to go anywhere anymore. So I'm not really holding on to it anymore. I'm just using the... Using both hands up here towards the front, holding the one that's coming through. Now we're moving on to the next one. And I could have done like a saddle stitch or something on this, but I think that'd be overkill considering these are just basic starting out projects that you can pick up. And you guys can also kind of get an idea if you're looking at some of these um, project products that you can buy. Um, obviously, I'm not sponsoring or advocating that you should buy these specific products. I'm just saying, you know, if you choose to. You can get an idea of what you're getting into before you get into it. So you can kind of get a feel for it and see, you know. So like me, I'll just go into any kind of crap. Like if I want to try out a hobby, I'm just going to go in full board. And like just trial by fire. It's kind of how I built my career as a business architect too. Um, to be honest, I just kind of everything that I did was given to me. And I didn't know much about it. And. By the time I was done, I knew everything about it, and I made it work right. It's kind of what I do. So that's, maybe that's why I like different hobbies. I like different kinds of challenges. Let's see if I can do it. I still can't play guitar, though. I have a guitar, acoustic guitar. I still can't play it. I can't figure out how to get my hands. My hands don't want to go around it. It didn't work right or something. I don't know. All right, so getting closer to the... We're getting closer to that spot, so we got to start watching for that. So we're going to have to bring in that flange as well when we get in there. So all these stitchings should be to the inside when we turn this inside, this bag inside out, which would be nice because you can't see any, like any tie-off or anything like that. Provided we have enough material, I might run. I might run the running stitch back the other way. I like to do that. Probably supposed to do that too. I'm not hundred percent sure. All right, so we're getting close now.
Why does that seem so weird? No, that's right. It just seems weird, it seems off. But I have to trust that they made the right holes in here. Alright, so this stitch is the last one of the ones without here. Now this next stitch is going to be the first one where we have the three. We have the flange. Like so. So now we're going to be bringing three layers of materials together. It's kind of cool how that works out. Alright, so now we're going to kind of pick this up. Make sure, yeah, we got good. I got the camera in a really good spot this time all right so you're going to important to make sure you don't end up going through the back through the wrong hole either because it's going to mess it all up so we're just going through all three layers i pull them through oh, we got a little bit of crap on this bag oh well, this is the inside of it anyway so we don't care all right go around and through well, that's pretty good. Just double check and make sure it's the right one. We don't want any mistakes. We gotta take our time. That's like the key with this thing is is to take your time and just do do it right. Well, I'm taking shit out off the walls. See, now they're pretty well lined up, now that they're all together. So that's all we gotta do is we just gotta pull this on through. And when we get to the end, we gotta tie it off. Tie the other end off. Spin this bad boy around. We're almost coming to the point where we're going to have two sections again. See how easy it is to get into something like this, a craft? Just go and find a couple of small projects. Let them rip. Now we're in the into two sections again. And around this corner is a little bit the corners you gotta kind of be take extra care to make sure you're going through the right hole. Um, sometimes they slide slide one over. Oops, I don't want to do that. There we go. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. It's the home stretch or home stitch as it were. So now we're, now we're in a spot where they're pretty well lined up again, so it'll just kind of zoom through to the end here. I 
remembering to just tug a little bit when we get to the edge, to the end of the end of the line. So you can kind of just cinch that in a little bit. Oh, almost double stitch there. Almost to the end. I think we might have, yeah, we have enough cord to go to run it back. So we're, oh shit, how do we end up with like, uh oh, we got in trouble. Oh, I bet you it's way back here. All right. So we stopped that so that I could go back and batch backstitch and just like I said is you got to be really careful what happened is in this back corner here I missed in a couple of spots and that made us off however we're back to being even so we're going to wrap this part up and then we're going to get to the next step I'm not in bother burdening you guys with the whole back stitching thing but you basically are just going back through the way that you came like so and then it'll pull it out so I had to go all the way through and do that. You want to make sure when you're doing something, you do it right. So it's worth doing. It's worth doing well. And however many more of those we can come up with. Um, we have enough rope, so we are going to go back through again. But we'll use our magic to make it quick and painless. But now we're going to go in the spots we didn't go before. So see here, we're going to go through. You know, I don't think you have to do this. Um, I'm just doing it so that it strengthens up the, up the stitch here. Okay, so this time I'm going to go back through here. It's going to bring me out here. So now I got these edges here that I can just tie together. So we're going to just do a. You can do like a square knot here. You can do any kind of knot really. I'm just going to give it a double, double whoopie tie off. And we're going to need. Of course I wouldn't have my scissors here. All right, so we're gonna head knife, chop these strings. So we, you don't have to get it perfect, just uh, don't hit your material because we're gonna come up with a lighter. So see, they do give you a bit of, a little bit of extra, not a huge amount, but a little bit. Um, I save those snippies sometimes in case I need just a little bit of thread or something. All right, so let's close this guy up, put him back. 
And now, um, lighter. So, uh, wax thread burns nice. So we're just going to get it to come down. Get it close and then kind of stop it. Um, push it with the lighter and that'll flatten it down. We're going to do the same thing on this side. And just kind of push it. So it kind of like turns into like a big button on the end there. All right, now. Turn the pouch right side out. So here's, we'll kind of give you a close up of the stitches and stuff. So you can see the stitches there. Going all the way around. I'm probably messing this up, but you know, I'm doing my best. So there's our corners, everything's all nice and good. So now we're gonna turn this bad boy inside out. And if we didn't make any mistakes, it'll be the nice suede bag that they promised us. If I can turn it inside out, holy hell. There we go. Ooh. I think we did it right, guys. I think we're good. We're good to go. All right, so there we go. We have our suede bag. Nice and tightly stitched. So you gotta have moments like this where you like have accomplished something cool like this and just be proud of it. All right, so now the dual drawstrings allow you to open each end of the bag closely, fold each drawstring in half, and tie an overhand knot. I don't know what an overhand knot is. All right, we're gonna Google this a second. Most fundamental knots. So how do you tie this fundamental knot? This is not very helpful. Go back a step. Overhand knot. Oh, that's just the. Oh, crap. That's just this. But you know what? I want to put a bead in here. So I said that a bead, we could do bead work, right? So let's grab. We're going to grab. one of each of these and one of these all right so we're gonna need this for both of them so do grab another set uh, do we want anything in the middle we need some little little silver all right so we're going to push this down one bead Silver, then the wood bead, then one silver, Throw that off to the side. All right, so now we have to make this in half. Like so. leaving a one inch loop in the middle. So we just want to have just a little loopy that. That looks pretty cool. I like it. What do you guys think? Hmm? Let me know in the comments. You know what you think. All right, so we're gonna go again. Same thing with this one. And the 
wood. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to sign the inside of it. We'll do that in a second. We'll start doing that with all these things that we make here. It's an original creation. All right, let's see here. We're up again. Now we're gonna do the overhand knot again. Said we want about an inch. It's very close. Pretty close to the same, a little bit off. Mm, closer. All right, so we did that. Okay, so we have to run these through. Not really following what they're telling me, but sounds like we have to like send these ones this way. The other one's the opposite way. I said square knot, so we're gonna have to learn square knot too. I think when I I did do one of these before, but I don't remember the exact science of it. But I'm pretty sure we might be onto what we gotta do here. Because you want to be able to pull it tight. this on this from the other side so let's check it out let's do it up and see what we get all right so we're going through here these ones kind of pretty easy to go through yeah seems right I suppose we won't know until we get to the end here. This is the only way I see this playing out, so I'm pretty sure it's got to be right. Don't be shy. There you are. It's good to have a tweezers around for these kinds of things too. I do have some, but I got that one to come through, so I'm, I'm happy. All right, so now we got to do this with the other side. Um, these ones, let's get them out of the way. There's also um, a needle that you can use for these two as well. I'm of course not doing that, but yeah, this is because I can see it doubled up in this middle section here. So this is exactly, we're doing it right.
All right, so we got that. Just can't get that little guy to come up here. Try to stab myself. So I would add some comedy to all this, huh? There we go. All right. So now. I'm going to pull these up so that they're there. So that's how it'll look when it's closed when you pull. Right, so let's open it back up all the way. So that's opened all the way right there. And we're going to square knot. So we got to know what a square knot is quick. I used to know all these and now I don't remember. All right, so we gotta take them like this. These two ends. This end comes up and over like so. Wait, I see, I see. Okay, so this one's going out and this one is coming in. So this one goes like this. And then like this. And then like this. Oh yeah, now let's, let's just do it this way. So we have one of these is going to be like this. This is weird. It's almost like it should be like this. And this. Okay, I think it's just like this and this. I don't see how that makes sense, but I got a better idea. Okay, we're gonna just hold them there for like that for right now. We're gonna test this out. Make sure that it works properly. So that closes it. All right. And that opens it. Uh 
So get those. Now it's nice and tight. Gives us a little space here. Yeah, that looks nice. Alright. So now we're going to need our head knife again for lack of scissors. We'll give them about that much tail. Come on this side. Line her up. So we got a little couple extra scraps for something else. We said we were going to sign this, so let's kind of get down in there. We're actually going to get down as far as we can. Let's put a K in there. There we go. And there we have it. We have our suede suede bag. Let's get a little bit of zoomies in on this. We go. We got some beadwork here on the edges. We got our square knot. We got our ties. On both sides here. Oh, we got to fix this one up a little bit. Got to twist it. That's an easy fix though. There we go. Look at that. Nice pouch. All right, everybody. We made it through. We got a nice suede bag here. Beautiful. Real simple. Good time. Relaxing and fun. Next time, we are going to take the next project off the shelf and we have ourselves here mini dream catcher. So until the next leatherworking video, check out the other content on the channel. If you enjoy spending your time here on the grow, uh, please consider liking the video here and subscribing to the channel. And until next time, be inspired, be inspiring, and growl louder. Peace.